So Sabum sends me a new electric chainsaw to test out, you know, so I call my buddy who's a professional lumberjack and I'm like, hey man, let's, uh, let's review some chainsaws today. And um, of course I come over and he pulls out all his fancy gear and shit. So I'm a little embarrassed to uh, break out my little electric chainsaw here, but. It's not the size, it's the way you use it. It's not the size, it's the way you use it. I think they all have a purpose. And these little electric chainsaws, I've reviewed these before and I like them. I, I think they're, for what they are and for their, who they're designed for, I, th I think it works pretty good. Um, this can be found on Amazon. What, what I like about the Save em is that this is an Amazon choice item. What that means is Amazon, based on uh, reviews and um, amount purchased, the speed in which they're delivered, uh, the amount of returns, all that goes into factor for Amazon Choice. So you know if it's an Amazon Choice, Amazon stands behind it and usually it's a pretty good product. But let's go ahead and unbox this and see what it looks like and test it out a little bit. Inside the box we find I, God, I hate unboxing videos, and I know you do too. So in the box, what we find is that this is a six inch saw, as opposed to, you know, there's a lot of these Chinese saws on Amazon, and I've reviewed a few, a lot of these, and I think for the same kind of price range, you get a four inch saw. I notice that a lot of the motors come off to the side here where the save them motor comes up off the top. It does have a scabbard for the six inch blade two 20 volt batteries and they're they're honest about it a lot of times you get these batteries and they'll tell you, you know it's like a 20 amp hour just something ridiculous but these are two amp hour batteries is what they're they have on their label which is cool another thing on a lot of these other saws is none of them have a battery meter this one actually has a battery meter right here on the front that tells you you know the state of charge on the battery it comes with little barrel style charger you plug into the wall. I'm not a huge fan of these. Looking at a couple other, Chris is gonna help me talk about some of the differences in between these. This is, this is his favorite one. And um, no, th th this is a cool little saw. The wife likes to use this. She loves to take it with us camping, you know, throw it in the, uh, the camp trailer or when we go um, on the side by side or whatever. These little electric saws are cool to take, but it's, it's really hard to compare any of these to what you've got here is, is the Milwaukee. And we're all kind of, I don't know, seeing these Milwaukee's, but we're, I don't know, you get what you pay for. You know, you're talking about a full kit here with a bag, comes with gloves, a little oiler. Um, Where do you oil this saw? Because it doesn't look like it has an oil reservoir. Right, so that- that's, The Milwaukee's the only one I see that actually has the- Has an oil- Oil reservoir. Oil reservoir, so which that is, is that that is one of the downsides to all these saws or maybe not i mean if you're doing small cutting and you're out on your side by side now you don't have to pack oil with you either. you don't have to pack oil and i've i've run this one a while without oil however you know the save them actually comes with a little oil you know bottle so i'm assuming that we just dab it on the chain yeah probably as, as we run it something i notice about the save them that i like is there's a no tool adjustment for the chain tension oh that's a good point when you look at the milwaukee you have to use a bar wrench when you look at this i don't i don't even know the brand on lithium this. you have to use a saw wrench that other one yeah same you on have the, to use a saw wrench the, i think these two are the same just different colors to be honest with you well oh. There's some subtle differences. Yeah, they're very close. One's I, I think, made down the block from the other one. Right. I think a lot of them are made at the kind of the same place. They're they're just kind of rebranded. This is the Goxawi that we've actually done a review on. And um, same thing, we have to loosen the bar and then we have to come in from the front with the screwdriver to tighten the bar. But how does this one work exactly? To save them, you loosen this off and there's a cam that connects to this green barrel adjuster and you just bring it up to where you want it tighten it back down it's actually one of the better built uh hands or uh, tool free tool, adjustment tool free, so that's less stuff you got to carry 
because that that is one thing when i put this in the bag to take you know camping or side by side i have to make sure i have my tools yeah with me um this one did come with a spare chain right here oh it's in the bag right here and one thing i looked up is i don't i, don't, I would not waste my time sharpening these chains the the reason is it comes with a chain this is for me i'm not a professional woodsman but you can get a pack a four pack of these chains on amazon for like 15 dollars yeah and they send them to you and as easy as this is to and you're not going to be cutting on the ground with this this is more this you is know branches pruning. as you're going through a trail or maybe a couple sticks for your your to have your lunch and a little right. fire and i've i've done that with the milwaukee i've come across like some eight or ten inch logs on the trail and i've cut from both sides and we've been able to kind of clear the trail trail with that the milwaukee does use a 3.25 which is a little bit better for um you know sharpening you can oh, sharpen okay, it easier yeah. it's a little bit heavier duty chain whereas these uh the save them runs a quarter. a quarter inch pitch right. so yeah you could actually use this one for pruning with the small bar sprocket on the front mm -hmm. um you could use this one for uh carving oh carving as well yeah That's the small touch-up stuff with carving um, rather than using a, a gas power head that's a good point well ready to dog in and yeah let's dog in i guess so the pros so far the pros I, I like the guard you know kind of over your hand um I, I guess that's kind of a way to hold it i don't like to hold anything above the chain but this does have a little chain guard mm -hmm. over the top you know where the milwaukee sometimes it feels comfortable to hold it right here but yeah. that is I don't know, kind of dangerous. Another thing that you were pointing out that we noticed when we start this, it's it's on or off. It's not like the Milwaukee. Again, we're talking about two totally different tier saws, I think, but where the Milwaukee has, it's a variable speed. You know, we can control the speed of that, which I guess if you're pruning, I don't know how big of a big deal that is. Yeah, it's just something I noticed. Yeah. Well, that's cool. Yeah, let's, um, what else? It came with some gloves. I would not. Should we see if the gloves are saw proof? Yeah, you try them on. Uh... <laughs> Too small for my hands. <laughs> yeah, that's what OJ said. <laughs> yeah, let's cut some limbs with it and maybe okay. we'll even do a comparison and see what. Uh... <clears throat> Here we have some hang on just a second okay All here right. we have a piece of ponderosa pine as you can see that's rated as a six inch blade so we're probably about four inch uh tip so we're going to cut a couple cookies now so I think you could probably stop the motor on this where the Milwaukee's a little bit harder to stop the motor. Um, I'm going to hold it here. Yep. Let's make one more cut. We'll see where our battery life is. Now to test our battery, it still says full, but it didn't feel as full on that one cut as the first cut. Probably best to just let this cut at its own rate. Don't try and force it through the wood at all. Seems like a pretty good little saw. Let's see what the Milwaukee does. Okay. All right, so now we're using the Milwaukee, but I've also got, it's the same, It's although it's 12 volt, it's still a two amp hour battery, um, where the other one's right at 20 volt, it's a two amp hour battery. So let's kind of see what the Milwaukee does. So, yeah, I mean. I think you're dead. Nope. 
So that's why I put the two amp hour battery in that because I kind of wanted to pair apple to apple, you know, which it's not. I'm talking power wise, I guess. But even then, yeah. it's still a different voltage. Well, it's moving a lot more uh, chain too. I mean, that chain's that, probably twice the weight of what that quarter inch chain is. Right. So let's see what the Goxawi does. That's also that's also a 20 volt, uh, two amp hour battery. This is the four inch blade. You can see four inch. Yeah. Which is still very good. Four inches is not too small. <laughs> So it stopped on you a couple times, but I think that save them looked like it was cutting a lot Yeah, the smoother. save them is still a much stronger saw than this. It is, okay. But still not quite comparable to... Not Milwaukee. Right, but what we also got a huge price difference we got to take into consideration. We're not cutting limbs either. We're cutting a four inch piece of solid wood as opposed to, you know, a small limb that may be protruding. You know, let's say we have this limb right here. You know, there's there's definitely going to be a difference between cutting four inch solid wood versus, you know, a one to two inch limb. Now let's take another look at that um, save them saw. So the save them, the one thing I just noticed over cutting with the, that other saw, what's the name of that one? The Goxawi. The Goxawi. This one will give you some sort of indication to whether or not it's slowing down you can start to hear the motor bog down and you can back off. That Goxawi would just simply stop. There was no, uh, hey, you need to back out a little bit. It was just... A different type of internal protection. Absolutely, yeah. Right. It was off. It I mean, it, off. you'd get to a point where it didn't want to cut anymore and just turn off, where you can back off with this one. Yeah. Let's try. So we're going to put these two side by side and we're going to see which one cuts off first. Both of them, full RPM. Milwaukee takes it. Not by much. But that the save them is very, very respectable, for sure. And the difference between, I mean, this one is probably one pound, two pounds lighter than the Milwaukee. Oh, no kidding. That's I would actually... think so, yeah. Okay. Cool. So kind of after going through all the saws, the pros and cons, let's talk about pros real quick. For me, non-professional woodsman, <laughs> I like the six inch blade as opposed to these uh, four inch ones. And, and these are comparably priced on Amazon. This whole kit, for the save them, I think is right now $89. And I think these are all real close. They all come with two batteries. They come with a, you know, a bag uh, like this to store it in. They come with extra chains, charger and everything. So I, I think bang for the buck right now, it's looking like the save them. I agree. The save them, <clears throat> the plastic on the save them actually feels like it's uh, a better built plastic you can you can it's, actually you can look at it and tell it almost looks like a better type plastic absolutely you can almost see the nylon reinforcement inside the plastic when they um, when they mix that so you're right not only does it look like it but it feels uh, yeah it, the six quality. inches feels nice in your hand that's right always does um, another pro not only the six inch but the the toolless chain adjustment what do you yeah. think about that? The, I really like that. Um, one thing I was also mentioning as I was setting these down, you can't stand the Milwaukee up. The Milwaukee you always have to lay down. Not really a big deal, but I yeah. think that's kind of neat that you're able to stand the save them up. So price comparison, where does the save them sit? Do you recall what the Milwaukee fuel costs? I, I don't, but I'll, I'll put it on the screen here because I, I think if you you know, th this was the tool only version, but if you were to get a kit with batteries, charger and everything, it's going to be probably even triple of what this costs. I think they're around 250 if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. 
and you know the milwaukee does come with the scabbard i don't know where i put it but i don't recall these other saws coming with the scabbard for the chain which i, I like that when you put it in the bag so it doesn't snag and uh, see it goes right on there and fits over it oh it fits over the under the chain yep. guard yeah that is pretty cool so the other um pro i like on it again is the fuel meter on the battery we just press the button just like the milwaukee the m18s the 12s don't have it but the m18s do and this one's still showing a full charge what i don't <laughs> okay so it, it the the little oil bottle does have a little um a cap for it but i don't know that i would want to store it in the bag i would with, leave that at home with oil in it um why would you do just give it a couple squirts and just keep, keep just raw keep. dog it. I mean, you don't need that lubrication. That that this little chain is not spinning at enough RPMs. You're not using it enough. I mean, if if in those four or five cuts, if the chain was hanging off of it and sagging mm -hmm. and, and loosened up, you're, I don't think you're generating the kind of heat warranted like by one of these big saws. That that oil is going to be a big factor in a it. A big deal, huh? I mean, what about the bar itself? Do you think? the bar itself without oil will be okay. Yeah, the, I mean, the tip, you know, probably has some sort of bearings in here. Yeah. Has it looks like it has one bearing in there that, you know, it spins around on, but again, I don't think you're making enough heat uh, to even really get worried about having. So not having an internal self oiler is not a big deal for you. No. Yeah. No, I don't think so. I think it's honestly overkill even on the Milwaukee. So although I don't see this saw in your arsenal of, of tools, who do you think this is more geared toward? You know, believe it or not, I would buy a saw like this. I, I really? own the Milwaukee, mm -hmm. um, going out side by side or hunting, four wheeling, whatever, to, to make my, you know, cut up a few sticks. There's a branch hanging out over the trail. It, this beats a handsaw any day of the week. Yeah, oh yeah. Um, I've, I used to carry a handsaw on me and I'd prune it. Um, you know as i needed to or if i wanted to make a small fire you know cook up my beanie weenies mm -hmm. um i would do the <laughs> no i i mean i'm, I'm the, totally the, with you and... as far as yard work though somebody who has you know something that needs uh pruning a little bit more extensive than like a hedging or you know they have just a small bush that needs to be trimmed up right, yeah the reason I like to take it camping with me because it depends on where you're going. The Forest Service doesn't necessarily like you to bring your own wood because you're introducing other types of right. um, bugs and stuff that, that, that could be not an invasive species to the area you're going to. So a lot of times that's why I like to take my own saw just to cut my own firewood for the night or whatever yeah. within, you know, downed wood within the forest. But over over the uh, any, I mean, I would take this save them. I don't know what longevity looks like on it but I would take the save them over the Milwaukee or the, the other two, you know, cheap looking plastic ones, because to me, the save them for the value and, you know, it wasn't that far behind the Milwaukee and uh, in, in the cutting, uh, you know, it's, it's gonna be something that if you're using it occasionally, it's gonna be uh, suitable. You know, if you're doing more the Milwaukee, you know, maybe a landscaper is going to carry the Milwaukee. Right, Somebody yeah, that's actually yeah. going to make the money or, you know, if you're, you know, no regards for what the price is, then the Milwaukee is the way to go. But if you're just using it occasionally, I think that save them is, is probably going to be the route to, to go down. Yeah. So the save them, there you have it. The um, opinion of a professional woodsman. <laughs> is that what you are? I, I guess so. A professional lumberjack. Depends on know. who you talk to, I uh, guess. That's right. That's right. So save them. I mean, I'm going to put a link to this saw in the description of the video. And um, also check them on Amazon because they also have plenty of other tools as well. I know they've got cordless impacts, blowers, and stuff like that. But the saw itself is where is probably one of the items I would buy before anything else yeah. on their other products. So that's all I got to say about that. <laughs>